Hi, welcome back after a long break. Hey, today we're going to be looking at Impress again. That's from LibreOffice. It's a free office suite. And we're going to be looking how we can use a really great feature, the Impress Remote that is available both Android and iOS. So let's go. <music> Hi guys, welcome back. I know I've been so quiet for so long. I've just been preoccupied with so many other things, getting back to work and normal. Believe it or not, Hong Kong is getting back to normal. Um, we're still wearing masks and stuff like that, but pretty much we're, we're getting back to a pretty well normal way of life. We're back at work, back at school and all that sort of good thing. So that's good news. But let's get back to business. Now, I've been wondering what I'm going to get back into when, to start off with, so I sort of thought I'd start off with something fairly easy, and that's using a remote control, not just a clicker, but a remote control that can control your PowerPoint accordingly. So um, what I use is Impress. That's a product inside LibreOffice. That's a free office suite. I'll put the link in the notes below where you can download that for Mac, Windows, and Linux. It's completely free. It's completely open source. And it has, part of that, it has a word processor. It has a spreadsheet called Calc. And accordingly, and it basically is a, a replacement for um, Microsoft Office. One caveat, it is not Microsoft Office. So is it a complete drop-in replacement? Not quite. But if you use it as your sole word processor or sole um, presentation program, you won't have any issues. You'll find many of the similar features that you find in Office. Well, let's get into that. So let's get LibreOffice up on the screen. So here we go over here. And you can see two screens here. You can see my phone and you can see the LibreOffice application. Now. The remote is an, a, an app that's been designed by the Document Foundation to work with Impress. Now you need to download it through the particular store, through either the iTunes, from the Apple Store or from the Android Play Store, and you can just search for Impress Remote, and then you can be able to connect to your Impress document. Now I've got a sample document here, but the, you need to do two things to, do, to get this up and running. So you need to go to Tools, and you need to go to Options, and you need to go to into advanced here. Can you see this here under LibreOffice advanced? So it may be like this. So you drop it down and you see advanced here. Here you've got optional features. You want to enable the experimental features because even though it says it can connect by Bluetooth, I'll be honest, I haven't successfully done that. And at this time, I'm, I'm not, I haven't tried for a long time, but I know Wi-Fi works fine. So to enable Wi-Fi, we need to enable the experimental features and we also need to go to the impress part of the section here and go into general and enable remote control. And then we click apply and then go, okay, you may need to restart LibreOffice. Now, what we need to do is that we need to now go to the app. We need to open this up and we've got an option here with Wi-Fi. And I've got my thing here. It should automatically come up with the particular thing. So I've got it here, which is Office One. It's now asked me to prompt for a password to be put in there. So we're going to Slideshow, slide, uh, press Remote, and it says Enter PIN. So we enter this PIN. And we go Connect. Voila! We have our PowerPoint displaying on our phone. Can you see that? Great. So at this stage, your PowerPoint is active. You can swipe left and it will change it accordingly. Or you can swipe right and it will change it accordingly. All with the previews. Okay. Let me show you how that is working. Let me, let me stop the slideshow. Right, so as you can see here, as I swipe, it will change the screen in the preview. Okay, so as you can see, it's a very simple process. Number one, download the app. Uh, 
download LibreOffice, of course. Enable the advanced function of um, the advanced features and enable remote and, um, and impress. Open the app. It will then search and click on Wi-Fi and then you will search for your connections. If you don't see it, I suggest you restart your computer and try again. Make sure your phone and the the computer that is, has the Impress software on it is connected on the same network. And then from there, you should just click on uh, the particular link. In my case, it says Office One. And then you may be asked to type in a password. The authorization is one time. If you find that you cannot connect, I recommend, let's go back, I'll go back to the screen and show you what I mean. Okay, let's, if you have problems connecting, let me go back to the machine again. Okay, so if you have problems connecting, you see what you've got here. I would recommend that you um, go into the, the slideshow and impress remote and remove client authorization. Okay, and then when you click on it, you'll be given another password to come up again. You will oh, close that and actually go back to slideshow and press remote. Yep. And then you'll be asked to type in a password. Connect. Okay. And then now this the slideshow is active accordingly. Okay. Along with all the previews on your phone. So next time, what do you need to do? Well, you can stop the slideshow. Okay. And if you want to start it, you just need to press it again and it will start automatically. Simple as that. Okay. You can also, you can also look at the overviews of all the slides um, accordingly. So it's very, very, a very easy, simple app to use with no, with, and I've not had any problems with it at all. Okay. Let's exit out of that. Okay. So I hope you like that short, quick tutorial of um, how to use Impressors remote on Android and iOS. Hey, as always, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Most of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. Please, it helps me immensely. It helps me get me no to get these videos noticed in the YouTube algorithm. So please, subscribe to the channel. It's free. Yeah, so what is it going to cost you? And if you don't like it later, you can always unsubscribe. No worries. So, till next time, you know, please follow me on Facebook, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, like always, be empowered by God.